Thank you, Carlos. All right, we love um, the Rock Church, of course, here on KUSI. We especially love that what they do every single year around the holiday season. We are talking about um, Toys for Joy. And now is the time for you to donate. So our friend Pastor Miles McPherson is here from the Rock to talk all about it. Hey, girl. How are you? So, so my wife wanted me to ask you to say, hey, girl, hey. For your wife only. <laughs> hey, girl, hey. Good to see you. How you doing? I love her. Your wife is a doll. Okay, so let's talk about Toys for joy a really um, wonderful event and it's hard to wrap your brain around the idea that thousands of San Diego families go without one in five kids are in poverty in San Diego there are a lot of people who are food insecure they don't know where the next meal is going to come from um, first let's back up it's 21 years it's our 21 years yes. anniversary or our 21st year we'll be in four locations Southwest High School Vista High School Lincoln High School and um, uh, Elkhorn Valley High School. Mm -hmm. Last year we had over 20,000 people. Well, explain to people who don't understand how it works. Yeah, yeah, how does this yeah. work? Yes. So every every one of those locations, and you can get all the information online, it is free from 9 to 2 next Saturday, December 9th. And people stand in line, they'll get here the gospel, they come and get a toy for any toy they want that we have. It's all free. We will feed everyone. Everyone will get a bag of food when they leave. Uh, last year we gave away 15,000 bags of uh, food and um, 312,000 articles of clothing from wow. at the Lincoln High School site. Um, and it, it's really to celebrate and empower people to celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the, the bag of food they get, I, I can tell you how many parents, moms came up to me crying, saying, I can eat today. You know, to get a toy is one thing, but to eat is, that's, you, know, you need to eat. Sure. Um, but it is to celebrate Christmas and to give Christmas to some families around San Diego. But right now is the time because you are collecting those toys. You are collecting all of those those items of clothing. That now is the time for the people who can to give. Now is the time to give. You can go to our website. Um, we need about 11,000 more toys. We're going to give away hopefully over 20,000 toys. Mm -hmm. um, and and what we have left over, we always give to other organizations. Uh, San Diego Wise, one um, Jackie Robinson Wise, one of our mm -hmm. key partners that will we'll also give uh, toys to as well. Um, but we need 11,000 more toys. You, they can give it to the church, they can go online and mm -hmm. find information about where they can drop toys off at. Um, let's talk about that day. This year it'll be December 9th, the yeah. day when you distribute it. I mean, you talked a little bit about the food and, and how the, the moms were just thankful to be able to eat that day, but what is it like for those kids that, you know, the holiday, of course it's about giving and, and love, uh, you know, for Christmas, but for kids, they want a toy. They want something to open under the tree. So what's it like for them? Uh, smiles, tears, excitement to walk into the gymnasiums of all these schools mm -hmm. and see the gymnasium full of toys. They get to take one port toy. It's free. It's first come, first serve. Mm -hmm. um, it, it is amazing. For I mean, kids love toys. But to see the parents be able to provide a toy for their kid, and that is a, a very satisfying. Some kids will come to get clothes because they go to school every day in the same clothes. And, you know, that's to some kids is more important than a toy because it's their self-esteem. They want to go to school looking, looking yeah. good. And, and so uh, I don't think most of, I don't think, I know most of us in San Diego don't understand the, the needs of people who are in poverty. There are some people who will sit on the street the night before to sit in line with their kids waiting to and to spend a night part. on the street to be part of it, be in front of the line. Um, if somebody at home is watching right now and is thinking, well, maybe I know somebody who, who could benefit from this, or somebody who at home is watching right now and thinking maybe I could benefit, who is qualified to receive these? Anybody. Really? It's anybody? A, oh, sure, anybody, anybody. Just go to the website, get information about the locations. Um, uh, it's from 9 to 2, a week from Saturday, December 9th, yes. and it is completely free. Bring anybody. And I would challenge the people. There are many people who are watching now say, well, I don't need to go there to get a toy. I would encourage people to be a volunteer. We're going to have just under 5,000 volunteers. Mm -hmm. And bring your children to volunteer. So my grandson was there last year. He did not take home a toy. Yeah. He saw thousands. I mean, he was in toy heaven. Right. But this was a day to, that you're going to give away a toy. Yeah. And help, I, someone help someone else. Help someone else. And I would challenge people to bring their children and um, participate in the event and get to get to be a, a giver that day. Okay. Um, so we'll have all the information about Toys for Joy on our website, KUSI.com. We always like to be out there and, and be with you on that day that you give it out because it's such a, a such an emotional moment. But um, I, I, because you always bring such peace and joy to to all of us personally, you know, here in the studio whenever you're here, I want to just 
I think right now in this country we are going through this turmoil, especially we keep seeing day after day these sexual assault accusations, harassment, we're seeing it more and more. Women are, are feeling, you know, vulnerable in the workplace in some cases. Do you have any thoughts of wisdom or peace that you can share to help people get through this time? Um, my heart goes out to the women and um, so many women. We've always read the stats over the years of how many women have been victims of some kind of assault and the, um, the belief that they need to know it's not their fault and that that pain is real mm -hmm. and that God can minister to that pain and that they have no guilt and no, no shame that this is something I brought on myself that uh, they need to know that that's not their fault. That's not their burden to carry, even though I know a lot of them do. And so I would encourage, and I'm going to talk about this very you know, briefly on Sunday, uh, to encourage women to get the help they need and to, um, to the best that I can encourage them to, to cast that burden on God. Because I also know the spiritual battle of getting in your head talking about you should have done this, you should have done that, and that is all from the pit of hell and wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, guys are, uh, they're wrong, and no is no, and it's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. And so um, if I, anything I can say to encourage the women that God does love you and, and to cast your cares on him and, and not, um, not let those voices in your head cast any blame or guilt and shame on you. Pastor Miles, always great to see you. Nice Thank you for you. coming in. We, of course, will put all the information, as I said, of Toys for Joy on our website. We need, I needed that. I needed that right now. Thank Good. you. Good. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Good Morning San Diego after this.